If you don't know yet about TCU football's meme mascot, let me give you a little introduction. The Hypnotoad. A trippy, trendy fan favorite frog. It's incredible. I love Hypnotoad. Hypnotoad is, is real. It's a real phenomenon that just messes with people's minds. All hell the Hypnotoad. <laughs> really, Mark? Yeah, no, I'm serious. And the team itself? You could certainly say they've embraced the help. At the end of the season, we're going to, you know, you do all these studies on, you know, how'd you do on first down and how were you on third and long and all this stuff. But we're going to do a study on, you know, how we did after they played the Hit No Toad video. <laughs> <laughs> It does work. Like at games, when the hypnotoad comes out on the screen, everyone goes wild. But where did the hypnotoad come from? Hypnotoad is um, an amphibian alien who has the power to control the human mind. Television writer Eric Kaplan first created the animated animal for an episode of Futurama in 2001. He can make you do things. He can make you desire things. <laughs> So with some Futurama fans on TCU's media team, they've been using Hypnotoad for years now. I think uh, props to the meme dude. He's had some awesome meme duding that he did. <laughs> it wasn't until TCU football started to grow in relevance that the general public and Kaplan realized Hypnotoad was going viral. I'm like, no way. They're gonna win the Fiesta Bowl thanks to Hypnotoad. That's great. So now with this team on the brink of a championship, Kaplan hopes his creature's hypnotic powers can come alive one last time. The hypnotoad is a strange angel. And if with the wings of that, the, the hurricane force of his wings, if that can blow TCU higher and higher, I'm happy. In Fort Worth, I'm Jay Wallace.